Now, viewer Marianne S. has another question. These are old questions. I'm sorry it took me so long to find them again. But it's about, uh, will the oligarchs take uh, Putin down? And so I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I think it's a fair point. The uh, military, the oligarchs, and oligarch, they can come in, hey, buddy, let's talk. Ugh, you're gone. So let's see what the cards say uh, about all of that. Okay, so let's get this one going here. Oh, my screen went off, and I need to cue it back up so I know what I'm asking. Okay, oh, Marianne S. Thank you again for another question, Marianne S. Uh, will the Russian oligarchs take Russia's Vladimir Putin down? Interesting. So will a very... It's like the, the, the children eating the father, isn't it? Will all the oligarchs be the ones who take Putin down? That's interesting. Can I leave it up here? I don't think I can. I mean, look at this thing. I'll try. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. It just When I was uh, watching these videos instead of making them, I wanted to know a lot about the cards that I couldn't find out without really doing a lot of uh, research. And so, I just think it's a good idea to leave the box on the table if I can. But the question is, uh, Marianne S., thank you for asking, is will the oligarchs uh, take him down? But, you know, first... oligarchs take him down. Interesting. Because that could be not right now. You know? Will the oligarchs take him down? Let's do uh, six cards. Just because I don't have space. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Will the oligarchs be what finishes him off. Okay. Signifier card. Woof. Nightmares. So the oligarchs may be the very nightmares that he doesn't need. Truth, justice, rules, law, all hanging over him. Will the oligarchs be the ones that take him down? The challenge to that is, look at that, it is justice, as a matter of fact. It says it right there, plain as day. So justice. No, it's not the oligarchs. It's justice somehow. Maybe unless the oligarchs bring justice. The base of the reading is this Prince of Pentacles. So this, whoever this is, this is a prince. Um, the oligarchs would be like the princes uh, in Putin's world, the various uh, princes of the, of the kingdom, um, and the prince of value. And he's hiding behind that that uh, value right there, but not completely. I mean, he's, he's looking out over the edge. So the base of this reading of this nightmare, uh, challenged by justice, is uh, this Prince of Pentacles. Not a page. Well, wait, what is a page? Oh, yeah. Uh, this would be equivalent to, no, this would be equivalent to a knight uh, in the royal court. So that's a fighter. Um, could be. The, in the past, this reading is the princess of swords. So, again, this is swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. The princess is like the page. Okay. So this female energy is bringing the truth forward and saying, what do we do with this, by the way? In the sky of this reading, with this four of swords, this is taking a break. Okay, and the, the very top of this reading, uh, the kind of the guiding light of the reading is uh, it's time to take your true justice rules and law and stand them up and then uh, be careful because you might stick yourself with them, uh, as we can see right here. But uh, it's time to take a break and consider all of that. And the likely outcome for the last card uh, in uh, whether the oligarchs will take it down is, uh, oh, the lady. So this is the Empress. So the very country, this would be Russia. Um, the Empress. Wow. So is it actually the people? I think it's a combination of both. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I think there's, you know, it's just what's in the cards. That's all we have. So what do you think? 
hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is the Druid Craft Tarot, and uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and uh, Druidity. Or Druidry? Maybe that's the uh, correct uh, uh, terminology. Uh, Philip and Stephanie Carr Gom, uh, with illustrations by Will Worthington. Really nice deck. Um, they're a little... Um, the, car, the box is fantastic because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that. The guidebook is huge. And uh, the only thing I would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color. But it gives you some, some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there. So I like that. The cards themselves, the one uh, gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box, which I'm not that happy about. But um, the cards themselves, they're huge, so some people might find them a little awkward to use, but I like them. And uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture. And um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance where you're going to use these. And I like to spread them out like this. Uh, if I'm doing a reading with someone, then I like usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. It's a good way to mix them up without you know, damaging the cards too much, uh, which is uh, always important to me. So, these cards are fantastic. Druidcraft Tarot. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.